Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 24 Stephen H career mode. We still have around, what, 14 more games to go in the season. Certainly, the top two spot right now is very, very tight. We still have to, what, we still have to, uh, you just need Burnley, Luton Town to drop points, allowing us to go over them. That's, of course, that's what we want. But we still have, what, 14 more games to go. Uh, no cup competition, no domestic competition at all. So we got to put all the focus in the uh, in the league right now. So the first game we're playing, it's against Sheffield Wednesday. I keep referring them to Sheffield United for some reason. But this is certainly looked like a very uh, easy game. But you know what? With the whole FIFA FC24 going on uh, right now with the glitch, with the uh, inconsistency, with the AI or the CPU, uh, you would never know. So right there, 27 minutes in, Sheffield United, or Sheffield Wednesday scored the first goal. It was a very good turn, by the way. 32 minutes in, uh, corner kick whips it in to the middle, uh, clears it away. Here comes Kyrodia, out of nowhere, pull out that stinger, that banger to the top right corner. I have no idea he has that in his locker room at all. I was expecting him to be in the box. Attacking the ball from the corner kick, but somehow he is right outside of the box. But this goal right here was certainly a, a brilliant one. Expect to go a 0.01, especially he is a defender. You don't you don't quite expect a player in his caliber to make a shot like that. So we're tied the game 1-1. One, one. Here comes Sheffield Wednesday on the right hand side. Uh, gets it back to the middle uh, to Byers right now finding uh, Parkinson. Parkinson, what am I talking about? Parkinson, no, 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 no. Hopefully that's not what I'm referring to. But later on, they scored. It was a shitty goal to concede. It was a deflected, it was a deflected shot. But the ball just kind of rolls in so slowly to the point where you were thinking, oh, can the goalkeeper, should the goalkeeper should have saved that one? I'm not quite sure about that. Van Duvan makes it 2-2, a brilliant header as well. Um, this is another AI deficiency, I believe, so within the game. I don't understand how uh, a player like him that short can somehow make a good uh, can somehow make a good contact with the ball as well, especially when you have to contest with other players in the box. And later on, 65 minutes in, out of nowhere, just ricochets everywhere. Sheffield once have scored another one. Van Duven, this is why you love him. This is why we sign him. It's because he is very reliable in front of goals. It was a one-time finish with his left foot. We made it 3-3, and we still have seven more games, uh, seven more minutes to go. Here comes Paul Vanner driving down the left-hand side. We are pretty much overpouring with Stephen H. Player in their box. And we have found the winner right here. Arthur Bruce, when you need him, he comes in clutch. And we made it 4-3. And that is pretty much the final, final nail to the coffin to the game. It was a brilliant 7 goal thriller to start this episode off. Which is, again, brilliant. Right now... Pretty much we're playing against the worst team. Is it the worst team? I think it is the worst team in the championship today against Portsmouth. Away from home this time. Again, right now there's no BSing in the middle. It's all about games, games, and games to finish this season off. Right now, a good goal. Uh, again, it's Van Duven again. Who would have thought a guy this short can, can head a goal, head a ball like that, that quick as well. We, we, we scored the first goal, 1-0, 43 minutes in. Here comes Maynou finding Miley in the middle. And right now, he got tons of room in front of him to run to Paul Vanner, the overlapping run from Miller on the right-hand side. And he decided to cross in the middle. Miley, just what a player. Uh, I think this guy is certainly one of the best center uh, central midfielder we have signed over the years, to be honest. The fact that... I know his potential is around 85, 86, but you just cannot deny how good of a player he is so far. In this level as well, the fact that he, um, you know, his rating has keep on going up every time he play it was amazing. Later on in the second half, six minutes after the kickoff, or six minutes after the uh, second half replay, uh, Paul Vanner, a beautiful goal as well. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It was a very slick move, uh, slick team move, and we made it 3-0. 
We won this game uh, 3-0, but looking at the table right now, this next game we're playing against is Burnley. So if we beat them, we will be overtaking them in the top of the league table, subjecting to the goal difference. Of course, we still, I mean, our goal difference right now is 38. Right now, they're 32. So regardless if we beat them, we are definitely going to go on top of the league. So looking at the Youth Academy report here, uh, again, uh, those players that I'm talking about, Chris Humphreys, Reese Armstrong, Thomas Miller, uh, Hayes, Fletcher, those players looking very, very good. I think they can be called up at any minute, but right now, I think I want to end this. I'm pretty sure I want to end this season with pretty much with the squad that we have. I do not want to call up any of the players unless I have to at the moment. So, Again, with the strong, strongest squad against the uh, strongest team right now, the best team so far in the league against Burnley. Uh, starting from the attack right here, here comes Manu and look at Elijah Spencer. Keep him running down the left-hand flank. Here comes Paul Vanner finding that little space of Arthur Bruce. What a great run and also a good finish as well with his left foot. You don't need power in some of the finishing. You just need to uh, just put it perfectly to a certain location and we made that one nil 49 minutes in here comes Burnley uh from a short corner kick right here they just keep on passing move map pass and move in the middle and at the end of the day they found an outlet they scored 2-1 uh Che Adams have scored I have no clue how Che Adams playing for Burnley right now but 58 minutes in here comes Burnley and you just know that when you're playing against an AI, a winger against one of your fullbacks, you just know you just can't really catch up to them. It was a very good run, good finish right there by Che Adams, and they have overtaken us right now. 2-1. It looks like this game, we're not getting anywhere, if I'm being honest. 65 minutes in. Here comes Burnley once again. We dispossess them with a great tackle later on. Here comes Van Duvan finding... Arthur Bruce and look at him go look at him go oh that was a beautiful finish one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper knowing the defenders around him trying to close him down but he took the ball off off his foot as soon as possible and right now we still it's anybody's game right now anybody's game uh, anybody's game to pick at the moment here comes Arthur Bruce with a counter attack on the right hand side looking for a middle to Miley and he's finished that one in and we have won this game I believe so hopefully we'll won this game 3-2 Lewis Miley scoring an important goal at the end of the day but Arthur Bruce what a great solo run it would have been nice if he scored that hat trick but you know what we if we have a chance to uh, take us to the top of the league we are going to do that regardless. So unfortunately, one of our players is injured for five days, which is, again, it's nothing. Right now, traveling to Court Lane against the second worst team in the championship against Oxford United. Away from home this time, again, I didn't quite switch the team a little bit. Didn't do a lot of rotation at the moment. I just feel I don't quite need uh, to do that, especially when we only have once, uh, one game every week. We can just kind of rest the players if we can to uh to spare them a little bit and here comes a counter attack look at that look at that just as long as arthur bruce drag himself away from the defender he is quick and his finishing is just as lethal as cristiano ronaldo right foot and we have scored the first goal it was a quick counter attack from an opposition uh corner kick we made it one nothing and here comes kirk riley kirk on the right hand side looking very calm to be honest 19 minutes in here comes king finding spencer on the left hand side again we love to build our attack from the left and allowing the overlapping run from spencer driving down the left hand side crosses in the middle to miller what a great goal what a great cross as well i mean elijah elijah spencer this guy has been with us for three seasons i believe so and he's certainly looking like one of those players who can, you know, who can become the one of the best left back in the world. Uh, here comes Oxford United right here. Uh, this is um, a poor goal to concede. I'm not quite sure if I should blame the defenders or the goalkeeper, but it was a good finish uh, in general. Uh, 44 minutes in, here comes Miley on the left-hand side, winning the ball back from the back, actually. Here comes Vanner, just keep on spinning, allowing to find a bit of room to space. Here comes Bruce, and just finish that one top left corner from that tight angle as well. And that shot power he had was amazing. I believe his shot power is edging closer to 90 at the moment, so nobody can touch him at the moment. Here comes Vanner, finding Bruce. Look at him go, look at him go, just dragging the players around. Van Duvan finding... 
uh, Miley and finish that one off to bottom right corner. Makes a 4-1. A beautiful finish to end this game off, I believe so. This might be the last go, I believe so. Yeah, it is the final. It is the final game score. 4-1. A beautiful goal to finish it off. Everybody just chipping in everybody just showing why they want to play for steven h why you know they believe in this project right now traveling away against to stay municipal against uh Br bristol rovers at the moment so we did a little bit of rotational changes here uh collins actually coming on for um what's his name for for, for leon king so yeah just one change we made again i feel like making some changes here and there could be beneficial at times but i know there's so much at stake behind every game of it we just have to win every single game if we can 12 minutes in here comes uh bristol rovers going to first go it was thompson i believe he used to play for us in the first season i don't know if it's him i'm sure it's him i mean the fact that he's so bulky and I remember this one Thompson in the team uh, for Stephen H back in season one. It's as bulky as he does. I'm sure he's playing against his old team right now. But 15 minutes in, here comes Stephen H. It's just a very simple finish. From the left to the middle, finding Fenduvan, who was free in the middle. And we made it 1-1, a beautiful finish to uh, sign it off. 35 minutes in, we're still controlling the game very well. Here comes Lewis Miley finding trying to find anybody who's free in the middle here comes vanner from that tight angle with his weaker foot as well drills this one to bottom right corner and we have made it 2-1 a very good finish but also a very good display by lewis miley and we have we take the lead 2-1 27 minutes in a very good tackle by miller and right now this is where the fun begins just kind of just kind of building the attack from the back off the bruise i feel like this guy looks very short this guy might be very short but every time when you try to finish a goal this guy will never ever ever disappoint you and at the end of the day we won this game 3-1 and it looks like we are cruising in in the league table or at least at the top of the league table at the moment we're just looking very good but burnley right now 77 points of course subjecting with one more game uh one more game played and of course we have scored 106 goals already and i know this is not accurate i know this is not realistic but it is what it is for the fifa community so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in a bit